How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday. Yeah. <laughs> we had some football. Uh, yeah, and still have some football. Niners look bad. Oh, man. Uh, how do we lose at home to the Cardinals? You didn't even have Kyler Murray or DeAndre Hopkins. We just didn't keep, we just didn't play up. But anyways, uh, a, lot, a lot of baseball moves are happening. A lot of guys are being non-tendered or guys are being offered. Um, surprising, as a Dodgers fan, I saw that Clayton Kershaw was not offered a contract. So technically, he's a free agent. I know the Dodgers are going to try to sign him, but my gut tells me I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up in Texas. That's home. Um, I can see him shifting to the American League and doing well for a few years. And you know what? He'll get paid decently. The Dodgers, don't be wrong. I, I would hate to see Clayton leave, but there's a point where you finally, it's just, he's done. He's done everything that he can do with this organization. Maybe it's a good thing for him as a competitor. So anyway, we're rambling. What are we gonna rip today? Well, this is something I have opened before in the Fat Pack version, but this is gonna be a comparison episode. A comparison episode of product that I picked up on Target.com and one of these in a store in Walmart, a Walmart in Arizona that I was at last week. What is it? Well, it's going to be the retail options of Optic Baseball. We got a mega box, we got a blaster box, and we have a fat pack, a cello pack, whatever you want to call them. We got this, and if that just wasn't enough, oh boy, we got some Monday mail. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson. And I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Monday, and we're ripping open the complement, the full assortment of optic baseball at the retail level. We've got a mega box. We got 40 cards inside of here. Then we also have a blaster box of 27 cards. And to wrap it up, well, the thing we're first starting with is a fat pack of 16 cards. We are going to open all of that. But before we even think of opening any of that stuff, you know what we're going to do? We're going to open some Monday mail. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to will. It never fails. That's right, Josh. We are ripping some Monday mail. That's right, Monday Mail. What do we got today? Well, we got a couple eBay pickups and we got a box from Topps. Now, the, Topps, uh, the box from Topps is part of the Future Stars Club. We'll open that last. Um, but we will start off with our first package, the thinnest package here. More than likely, um, I don't know what I paid for these. I wanna say it was a couple bucks, but I don't even know what it is yet. So this is probably gonna be Tyler Soderstrom, a guy that I am, uh, uh, prospect. He's a catcher for the Oakland A's. He's good and he's young and it's wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> it's Robert Hassel. I think I paid a buck for it. Uh, Robert Hassel, 29 cents. Hey, what a deal. You put a 29 cent sticker in there. Robert Hassel, the uh, number eight uh, overall pick, I believe. Number eight was he at eight? Uh, yeah, eighth overall by the Padres in 2020. Another Bowman paper. I think I paid like less than a buck for it and then I paid a buck shipping. So for me, Again, you've seen the episodes before. I really like to be able to pick up guys like this. Yes, it's paper, and I know paper's not gonna be worth a ton, but you know what, for a buck, I have no problem doing it. So Robert Hassel. Okay, the next one should be Tyler Soderstrom. He is the uh, catcher for the Oakland A's, and I did pay a little more than I'd like to because I just put a really high bid on it. Yep, it is. And no protection, and wow, I paid that much for don't get me wrong, they didn't have to go above and beyond, but yeah. No protection whatsoever except for in the, in the uh, top loaders. So yeah, you just saw uh, how much I paid for this. Well, if you didn't, guess what? I'm putting it up right about now. Yeah, I kind of overpaid for these. Uh, we got two refract, one refractor, I believe, two refractors. Uh, one refractor and two chromes. Uh, yeah, and the reason I overpaid was, well, because idiot me was driving at the time. And don't don't eBay and drive, by the way. So I picked up the two of these and I overpaid. Uh, the bid was right around $18, $19. And I went to go put 23 for my high bid and went to 29 accidentally. And yeah, don't 
eBay and Drive. But either way, Tyler Soderstrom is a guy that I am very high on. Um, he could have maybe taken care of me a little better here on these instead of just like maybe put some cardboard around and make sure they don't get damaged, but whatever, they showed up in good shape. So I got two uh, base chrome from 2020 uh, draft, Bowman 2020 draft. So I picked up those two and then I did get the refractor and he used scotch tape as well, thank you. And there is the refractor right there. Not numbered or anything like that, but I just, this is one guy who I'm prospecting big time. Uh, guy is, when you look at his overall stats for the type of player he is and can be, he's a lot like Tatis. And so like Dylan Carlson, those are reason, those are guys I look at as, and I look at what their on base is, what their slugging percentage is, what they do. Uh, they don't strike out a ton. Well, Tatis strikes out a lot right now, but that's kind of what I look at with some of these guys. I look at what they can do. Um, there's a good chance Tyler Soderstrom ends up moving from catcher, uh, which is fine. Catching is kind of what got him to get drafted. Um, yeah, he's a good one. Anyway, that's me. That's my prospecting world. All right, it's time to open the Tops Future Stars box. And the only reason I know it's the Tops Future Stars box is it said I got it delivered, A, and B, doesn't say anything on here. On B, I'm hearing rumors of what it is. Is it? I don't know, but we will find out together. Are you ready? Good, Britain Packs, three, two, one. Let's uh, this open. Okay. Okay, and it is paper. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, we got a set, a complete set. We got a magnet, Tops Future Stars, 2021 member. I will wear this with pride on my car. No, we won't. We got a set, a complete set. Is this, the, this is the blue set. I'm not gonna open this. It does have the rookie variations. Um, doesn't look like it has anything else, but I will say it's a $50 value and I pay 25 bucks a month for this set. Usually they ship a blaster box, and we do have a box of cards here. We'll open this in a minute, and we'll see what's in here. But no, I will say for 50, uh, getting a complete set, now this is just gonna stay closed up, but we do have all of the image variations in here. It's the blue set, like I said, I don't know if that's the hobby. I think the red is the hobby on this one, but it doesn't say anything about hobby on here whatsoever. Um, but hey, you know what? It's not a bad little perk. All right, so the cards for the month that I got, we got ourselves some, okay, here we go. It's their little uh, monthly cards. Trey Turner's on the back and Max Scherzer in his Dodgers gear, it's nice, is on the front. And these are always a pain in the ass to open, by the way. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, I saw Trey, Trey Turner in his Dodger gear. So there's Max Scherzer, and we will see what they all have in common in a moment. There's Scherzer wearing his Dodger gear. Chris Bryant in his Giants gear. Okay, so I already know. Guys who were traded. Um, my question is, why couldn't you done this in Update? You kind of, that's the reason you tops Update, for the trade deadline stuff. Javi Baez, now with the Mets. I'm noticing a lot of ex-National Leaguers here. Anthony Rizzo with the Yankees. And I can't really get it out here, but yeah, it's, I can't get it out. I'm not gonna mess with it. It's gonna take too long. Uh, Trey Turner with the Dodgers, former National. And it says there, um, this is uh, players who were traded earlier this season and have made an impact with their new club. Well, I would disagree with uh, Javi Baez and Anthony Rizzo. They didn't really make much of an impact, but I mean, either way, okay. I got a couple Dodger guys here. Uh, more than likely, Turner's gonna re-up with the Dodgers. Scherzer's a free agent, but I'd like, if they don't sign Clayton, I could see them really pushing with, uh, with uh, Max Scherzer. Um, but it'll be interesting because we have that lefty combo, uh, that lefty with Kershaw, and Urias is gonna be good, but we have the lefty that's nice to have that veteran lefty. But then again, are we gonna pay, you know, are we, me? I don't have money to pay him, but are the Dodgers gonna pay him, uh, you know, 20, 25 million dollars a year for a guy who's realistically worth maybe 12? Probably not. I see other teams doing that, but not the Dodgers, so. Anyways, there's your Monday Mail. Um, 
some prospecting and Tops Future Stars. So I'm gonna clear this off real quick and we are gonna come back and we are going to open some optic baseball. I'll see you in a second. Okay, are you ready to rip open some optic baseball? Okay. I know it's not licensed. Okay, dude, I get it. Okay, I know, I understand. It's, it, okay, yeah, I agree, it's overpriced. Yeah, I, okay, well, you know what? Maybe you're gonna see this in the store and be like, dude, okay, fine, I, there's nothing else here. You know, update, got, everybody bought up the update and all there is is uh, Chronicles basketball and, you know, optic baseball. Yeah, that's what I thought. You'll want to see what it looks like. Well, good, because that's what we're doing today. Now, granted, I know this has been out in the hobby for a little while, and honestly, I've been sitting on the stuff for about a, oh, good oh God, at least a week and a half, if not two weeks. Um, but I felt it was time to just go ahead and do a rip, and honestly, I was waiting for the first thing we're gonna rip. And what is that? Because out here in LA, people buy all this crap up. So, yeah, comparison rip. First thing we're gonna rip, is the fat pack 16 cards in here by the way christian yelich he's the cover boy for all this stuff and he had a crappy year he's been much better player than he had this year but anyway christian yelich we're gonna open this pack first after we're done with that we are gonna go to the blaster box here we have uh the game's top rising stars in 2021 Woo! we also have pink parallels inside of here and a bonus pack or whatever no we just got three pink parallels we're probably gonna be shoved into packs and then we're gonna finish up our rip of the uh, Optic Baseball with the Mega Box. With 48 cards in here, Red Wave, Parallel. Eight cards that are thrown in. We have four cards and 10 packs and one eight cards per whatever. And plus, guess what? If we play our odds right, we're gonna get ourselves an autograph per box on average. <laughs> and my luck with Panini, yeah, that's usually on the average part that doesn't make that list. Anyway. Are you ready? Good. Oh, before we even think of opening this stuff, you know what you can do? That. And that. And that. And leave a comment. I mean, I I am a big fan of Panini's, well, products. Not their prices and not their prints lately, but I do like Optic a lot. And honestly, I think Optic's a better product than Prism. That's just me. I like Select, but Select's in its own different beast. Optic just, to me, is more fun. Um, even with, I mean, with basketball, football, baseball, so it's just much more fun rip. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, again, I've not ripped optic at this level. I did a, just a joke rip of a couple fat packs from last year, just because I had them. But this is going to be a more comprehensive uh, rip, if you will. Now, again, you will see these in most. You're, they're on Target.com right now. If you wanted to go get them, if you're like, dude, I like the look of those, and I've never thought of it. Yeah. We're gonna kill off the whole non-licensed thing right now. They're, they're not licensed, we already know that, that's Panini. I'm not gonna make comments about that through this episode. I might make a snarky jackass comment every now and then, but realistically, we all know that going into the rip, there are no logos, no team names, no nothing. It's just the way it is. Uh, yeah, and then we were going to rip them. Okay, yeah, and follow me, follow me here, yeah. All right, are you ready? Good. Okay, okay, good, now you're ready. All right, so first things first, like I said, we are going to rip open the fat pack. We got 16 cards in here, optic value pack. I love how they call it a value pack. The thing costs 16 effing dollars. Yeah, this is non-licensed baseball. Again, I'm doing this for you. I really am, I'm doing it for you. $16 in here. Um, there better be a hit or two. That's all I'm gonna say. So at seven or eight dollars, okay, I can live with it, but it's a buck a card. So each card better be worth a buck. You know what I'm saying? All right, again, 16 cards here. We're looking at four lime green exclusive parallels to the retail jumbo fat pack, cello pack, whatever. Let's go, ripping packs. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs, let's go. Yes, and as you see now, we are doing the upstairs and downstairs camera. Upstairs, which is going up here, or actually where you're seeing it is going down this way. Um, and then we're gonna go to the special camera, you right there, we're gonna go to you for the hits. Things like this, I'm just gonna do it like that. It makes my job much easier. All right, are you ready? Good, because we got Blake Snell of the Padres, Trevor Story of the Rockies, Zach Gallon for the Diamondbacks, J.P. Crawford for the Mariners. Kohei Arihara with the Rated Rookie. Show it to the camera there. Rated Rookie. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, not the red rookie I want. <laughs> yeah, good old Kelly Erha. He is from Japan, evidently. Rookie pile. Aaron Judge going into the PC with the Diamond Kings. I'll show it to you. I do like the Diamond Kings inserts. Now, I, I haven't looked at these compared to what Donruss is doing, uh, what Donruss had done. So for me, it's a matter of, I mean, I'm not gonna go back and look at each picture, but I know like with Chrome, they'll use the exact same picture, but I know with Optic in football and basketball, they do not use the Donner's pictures for the most part. So it'll be interesting. PC pile. Tristan McKenzie going into the rookie pile, rated rookie for the Indians. He had a solid season and he's gonna be a good one for the Indians. He's just gonna keep, or the Guardians, I should say. I need to get that in my vocabulary, the Guardians. Okay, and then we have, Sheraton Apostle, nice. This is a guy actually prospect. Uh, he was in double A last year. I think he got a couple call, call up to triple A. The only reason he has rookie cards is because he got called up during the COVID season. So he got some ABs last year. Um, but he's a, he's a good one. He's young. He's first base, third base, outfield. He's got a big body. Texas got some good young guys. Now can they, can they put it together? That's the question. Then we got a Christian Yelich there with all, yeah, massive print lines, but hey, it's Christian Yelich. So, Technically, I throw Yelich in the hits just because he's a good ball player. So there's that. Will he be anyway? I don't know. I mean, he's good. He's on the box for God's sakes. Kristen Yelich. Then we do have <laughs> Matt Chapman with the uh, hollow. I keep pulling Chapman. I keep pulling A's. Now here's the thing with Chapman, is I've said it before on the channel, I um, shot footage of Matt Chapman when he was in high school, and I think it's pretty cool, because I didn't go to shoot him, I went there to shoot the guy who was pitching for Edison, who got drafted in the first round and ended up not, yeah, he ended, he's like, I'm dead serious, he's like working in Huntington Beach somewhere, he couldn't cut it, but anyway, this guy's an all-star, he's just not a big hit, but going into the insert parallel pile. And we have a lime green here of Carlos Correa. He's gonna be a free agent. The question is, where is he going to go? Um, I'm hearing like the Yankees. So I don't know. Yankees are one spot, the Cubs are another spot. Yeah. Chris Bryant with the Cubs. Okay, well you could have maybe fixed that one in time. Knowing your Panini, all you do is Photoshop things. Now with the Giants. Maybe, we'll see how long. That's a hit by the way, in my, the way I see it. Alejandro Kirk for the Blue Jays. I like him, he's a spark plug. Young catcher, um, I think he'll actually drop some weight and he'll actually be a much better hitter. But he's just that roly-poly guy, I love watching run. Alejandro Kirk. And then Cabrian, nice. That's actually a nice one there too. That's the, uh, are they all? Yeah, they're all hollows. But Cabrian, that's a nice little hit right there. Cabrian going into the rookie pile, but he's a good one. He's a good one in my eyes. Then we have Alex Bregman with T minus. Well, if this is anything like you've seen, basketball does the exact same parallels. And yeah, I actually throw Alex Bregman in the hits. I like Bregman as a ball player. Um, the whole cheating thing, he's one guy who I knew could play beforehand, but yeah, I know. But I hate help Altuve, so there's that. And the last card is Hunter Green. Okay, so we got some okay cards here. Hunter Green, um, story with him. We had two guys I shot video footage of in high school. Hunter Green, I shot him. Uh, he ended up being the second overall pick in the draft in 2017, uh, right behind Royce Lewis. But he's a guy I shot footage of, and the guy is legit. Um, he'll probably be with the Reds next year because the Reds, let's just face it, they're just they're they're not a good organization right now. Problem is, they'll probably bring him up in like late April, May, so they can retain him. But that's a rated prospect, by the way. That's going into the rookie pile. So there's pack number one of the fat pack. Overall, I mean, not awful. Not awful, $16. Well, we'll see. Cabrian Hayes actually was the best card in that. So let's go now to our blaster box. We have 27 cards in here. We have four cards per pack, six cards, plus three, a bonus pack of three cards. And we are looking for the pink parallels inside of here. Are you ready? Good, because I'm gonna open it right now. Ribbon packs, three, two, one, let's go. Hmm. All right, comparison rip of optic baseball. Non-licensed, goodness, are you ready? Good, because I'm opening this box. Uh, no, who do you collect? But here are our packs and then the bonus pack. There's our bonus pack. Bonus pack, which we'll open at the end. And then here are our six packs of four cards. Let's just start from the top. No expectations, there are autographs in here evidently, but there's no expectations I'm even gonna get one. Are you ready? Good, because pack number one, here we go. Rip packs, three, two, one, let's open this blaster, let's go. 
And Eugenio Suarez for the Reds. Why am I showing you? I'm gonna just go over here. He had a crappy season. Glaber Torres for the Yankees. Yeah, he had a crappy season too. Tanner Houck for the Red Sox going into the PC pile, cause yeah, he's a Tanner Houck. <laughs> Come on. I keep pulling this guy. I'm just gonna show it to camera just for it because I haven't pulled the lights out yet. Um, technically going in the PC pile, but you think by any release they would have done, let's say, oh, I don't know, maybe July, they would have been able to go, oh, let's maybe pull this guy out of the checklist for the time being. Oh, you, you're not? Okay, well, maybe pull him out of the inserts for the time being. Oh, oh, you're not? Oh, well, it's a cool card. And here's the thing, I don't, it's not that I don't like Trevor Bauer, I don't like what happened, and I don't like the everything I've been hearing about it. I like Trevor Bauer as a pitcher, as a competitor. He was an ass, an arrogant, and I kind of like that. And we see why. Anyway, pack number two of uh, Optic Baseball, let's go. Got Sal Perez, quite possibly the MVP. Joey Votto going into, well, I like Joey, but he's just, a, just an insert. Then we have Luis Rodriguez, nice, with the rated prospect right there. Uh, yeah, he's one of the Dodgers' top prospects. That's a hollow, too. That is awesome. Going to the rookie pile because I don't throw prospects in with PC. Uh, just it's easier for me to kind of go through things, but that's a hit. That's a friggin' hit right there. Not numbered or anything, I don't think, but yeah. And then Yiddy Cappy, wow. Um, Yiddy Cappy, the number seven overall international prospect. He's a Marlins uh, player, and uh, he's a shortstop, and he signed for a big fat contract. But we got two of the big, wow, that's awesome. And Bowman, I've been, I just pulled Yiddy out of Bowman. Uh, Rodriguez was the guy who I've been really trying hard to pull. And I got his hollow, or silver, whatever you want to call it. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, pack number three of Optic Baseball. Right now, I'm Blasters winning. Let's go. All right, Alex Verdugo going into the PC. Brandon Lowe going into the Commons. Chris Bubik going into the rookie pile, but show it to you anyway because that's what I do with rookies. Yeah. And the last card is another T-minus of Nolan Arenado going into... Nolan's awesome, but I just throw him into the... Yeah, he's just, he doesn't have a lot of hobby love, so I just kind of, and he's old enough, he should have, you know, he should have, first two or three years should have blown up enough, but maybe he was playing Colorado, I don't know. Pack number four, Optic Blaster Box, let's go. Giancarlo Stanton for the Yankees, Brady Singer with the rated rookie for the Royals going into the rookie pile, so we got both Royals rookies right here, maybe we get a Bobby Witt next. Debbie Garcia with the rated rookie with the silver. So I'm happy. I mean, he's a pitcher. Yeah, Garcia's a good young one. But I will say it's nice to pull guys like this. Don't be wrong. Matt Chapman's a good ball player. But this is what you buy this stuff for. Especially when these cards are not, you know, not authorized by MLB. You need the names to be good. And our last card is Trey Turner with Mythical. Mythical. That's the Trey Turner card we just pulled right there. So that's going into, and Trey Turner's another example of that. He's a great ball player, but yeah, he just, nothing really, is, you know, he's a great ball player. Just didn't click it in the hobby. We've got two packs left and then our bonus pack. Pack number five. Three packs. Let's go. Max Freed for the Braves. I've, a lot of these guys I've shot footage of, which is crazy. Max Freed is another one. Yeah. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Kyle Lewis going in the PC with the Diamond Kings. He had a crappy year, but I like Kyle and he goes in my PC. So yeah, there's always that. Then we got a nice, a uh, unleashed here of Fernando. Uh, just, I think that's just a base unleashed, but good old Tatis. You can't go wrong with a Tatis. There's our first real hit, if you will, star name player. That's, that's what I call a hit, star name player. In fact, I don't think I have any of the other ones. They were not, uh, yeah, none of them are star. That's our first star name hit. All right, last pack before the bonus pack. Pack number six of the Optic Blaster Box. Ripping packs. Let's go. So no autos yet. We got Jesus Lazardo for the A's, now with the uh, Marlins. Debbie Garcia again. Well, <laughs> Debbie Garcia hot box. He's young. Give him time. 
Then Shohei, there's a hit right there for you. That looks a little, oh, that's, yeah, it's not a rated rookie. Shohei going into the hits. So we do have a hit. Then our last card is Bryce Turang for the Milwaukee Brewers with the rated prospect. He's a good one too. Uh, Owen, one of the viewers out there, he's turned me on to a handful of the Brewers prospects and he's a good one, Bryce Turang. Uh, he'll be, he's young, uh, was drafted on the first round in 2019, uh, actually out here in SoCal, but He's a good one. He's definitely a nice little hit right there. All right, we have our bonus pack. Three pink cards. You ready? Let's get some pink. Let's go. Okay. Zach Gallon. Whoa. If you watched my episode the other day, I uh, had uh, some fun with uh, Kevin of Kevin's Bunch of Card Breaks. Him and Zach Gallon could be twins. Yeah. Uh, that was on, I think, Friday afternoon I released it. But anyway, Zach Gallon. Carry a little pile. JP Crawford for the Mariners with the pink. Guess where you're going, JP? Into the parallel. Wow. JP's a good player, but no. And Tristan McKenzie. So I got a lot of dupes that the other pack was, but Tristan McKenzie going into the rookie pile with the pink. All right, so right now, I mean, Blaster Box is better than the fat pack, but we still have this giant mega box. Four cards per pack, 10 packs, bonus eight card pack plus, and those eight cards are probably the uh, um, red waves or whatever. We got an auto. Somewhere in here we got an auto. And yeah, we're just gonna rip it open. We're gonna get some Unleashed. We're gonna get some more stuff. Are you ready? Good. Let's just get this baby going. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay, let's. Oh, by the way. The blaster box was twenty five, uh, no twenty nine ninety nine. Mega box was forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, it ain't cheap anymore. It was actually cheap anyway. But here ah, we go. Okay, here it's all right in the middle. Right in the middle. You want anything else in here? Nope. All right in the middle. So there are our 10 packs, our bonus pack with eight cards. And here we go. We got 10 packs, 10 packs of four cards. Let's just go. Right now, like I said, blaster box, but it's because the silver, uh, the silver Luis Rodriguez. All right, pack number one of the optic mega box. Let's go. If we get it, if I think we're getting an auto, I'm gonna wait. We got Alex Kirloff for the Twins going into the rookie pile. He's a good one. Then we got Max Scherzer. He's a hit, but I'm gonna put him into the hit pile. Sterling Marte with the silver. Um, Choti anyway, but Marte is a great player. He's playing for the A's now, but he's definitely just a good old fashioned parallel insert pile hit. And then another Luis Rodriguez. Okay, but the base version, but that's definitely, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm pulling right now. Um, yeah. Pack number two of the Optic Baseball Mega Box. Kente Maeda going in the commons. Kettle Marte going into the commons. And nope, not yet. Tucker Davidson, who got called up to pitch a game in the World Series because, yeah, um, what's his butt? Um, Charlie Morton broke his leg. Going in the rookie pile. And then we got another lights out of Max Scherzer going into the hits. The reason I throw Scherzer in the hits is because he's going to be a Hall of Famer. And, you know, yeah, the card's worth maybe a quarter, but I'd rather keep those cards than Kettle Marte's. Anyway, pack number three. Optic. Mega box. Let's go. We got Brandon Woodruff, who had a solid season for the Brewers. We got Kohei Oyahara again. So we're seeing a lot of dupes right now. Not happy with that, but then again, I'm getting dupes of Luis Rodriguez. So there's kind of the other side of it. We have a T-minus uh, with uh, Freddie Freeman. Another great example. I like Freddie. I think he's a great ball player. He just doesn't do much for the hobby. And that's in my opinion, of course. Um, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Going in the parallels. And George Brett with the mythical. Good old George Brett Hall of Fame. Great Kansas City Royal. Great. Going into the parallel pile. I'll put him in the old guy, old guy pile later on. All right, pack number, what, five already? Jesus. Five, five. Four, four, pack number four. <sighs> Let's go. 
Andrew Vaughn with the rated rookie for the White Sox. That's a nice little hit. He's a he's a guy who I've said it before uh, a couple weeks ago on the channel. A guy who um, kind of just thrown to the fire, and he didn't get a chance to really play. He's normally a first baseman, but he had to go out and learn the outfield, and he's just a solid hitter, number one overall pick, and the guy's just a pure hitter, and so I would just give him a little more time. He's 23, I think, right now, so he's got enough time to still right that ship, and I think he will. He's a good one. Oh, we got an autograph. I think we got our autograph here. Corbin Burns for the Brewers, but I'm gonna put you all aside right now because we're gonna get our autograph. All right, pack number five, Optic Mega. Uh -huh. You ready? Good. Let's go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Eugenio Suarez, yet again. Aaron Judge going into the PC pile, and you already saw that card. Tristan McKenzie, you already saw Tristan. And Christian Robinson with the rated prospect. He is a rated prospect for the Diamondbacks. The hard thing to say about this kid is he's legit. He never played an inning of major, of minor league baseball this year. Unless I'm wrong, I might be wrong, but I know he had visa problems and he had mental health issues. And it's not a knock on him at all like that. It's more of the guy didn't get another year to develop after the COVID season and after this. He's a good one, but that may have taken a toll on the guy, which sucks. He's a good one. All right, we got five packs left in our auto. Five packs left. Pack number six, let's go. Labor Torres going into the comments. Sal Perez going into the comments. Freddie Freeman with the silver. You heard my spiel on Freeman, but here you go. Here's Freddie with the silver. Cool. I like Freddie. He's a good ball player. It's just he doesn't, yeah, maybe it's because I'm on the West Coast. And then Frank Thomas with the T minus going into the parallel pile, but eventually I'll be pulling him out so I can put him in the old man pile. Frank Thomas. He can sell you boner pills. All right, we got four packs. Pack number six. Six, seven, seven, eight, seven. Yeah, seven. I'm good at math. Let's go. Uh, Nugenics, that's what Frank Thomas uh, promotes. Alex Verdugo going into the PC. Sheraton Apostle, showed you him already, but he's going into the rookies that I'll pull out later because he's going in the prospect pile. Jack Flaherty. Okay, so I've shot, I did, the only thing I haven't gotten is Lucas Giolito. The only reason I'm showing it to you is because I've shot all this footage of all these guys in high school and they all got drafted in, like in the first round. It's pretty awesome. And Javi Baez for the Cubs. I'll show it to you anyway, but I liked Javi Baez, but the more and more I just realized he's a good ball player, but the hobby doesn't respond to him. Again, these are all my insights that I'm noticing when I got back into the hobby. Guys, I thought would be, oh, this guy's gonna be worth a lot, or this guy's gonna be good. He ain't worth nothing. All right, pack number eight, Optic. Mega box, let's go. Brandon Lowe going into the commons. Giancarlo going into the commons again. And we got a hollow of Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. Cool. <laughs> Yastrzemski is another one. I mean, the Giants won this year on Smoke and Mirrors, and I think that they had a great season. But yeah, I like Yaz. He's a good young, he's a good player who got a chance to show what he can do playing full time. And the godson of uh, grandson of uh come on, Carl. So you can't go wrong there. And Randy going into the old man pile eventually, but big unit. I love watching him pitch. I still, it wasn't say it here to say, yeah, it's Arizona, but come on, we all know he's a mariner, at least for me. That's the Randy Johnson that I remember going into the old man pile eventually. Two packs left on our bonus pack and then our autograph. All right, let's go. Pack number nine. Mega box from Optic. Let's go, baseball. Okay. Max Freed, yet again. Anthony Santander, we got another hollow here of Sheridan Apostle, okay. Again, you heard, I prospect this guy. I think he's gonna be good, so I am totally down with getting his uh, his hollow. <laughs> and Austin Martin. Um, now with the Twins, uh, I assume you all know that, but if you didn't, he was traded from Toronto to uh, Minnesota with uh, during the trade deadline for Jose Barrios. Um, but yeah, he's a good one. Pure hitter, should be, honestly, I think there's a very good chance he's gonna be in Minnesota next year. Very good chance. The guy's a pure hitter, and Minnesota sucks. All right, we got our last pack, then our bonus pack, and then we'll do our autograph. All right, pack number 10, Optic Baseball. Let's go. Uh. Reese Hoskins, yet again. Jesus Lazardo, yet again. We got a rookie card here of Joe Adele, okay. I like Joe. 
Uh, he's another guy who kind of like that same thing as like, that's a guy who like Andrew Vaughn, he, he did okay. Let him play a little longer. He will show you what he can do. And I think the Angels, come on, trolling the outfield up there with Mike Trout and Justin Upton. He's the young kid. They got some good young players. They just need to, they just need pitching. They need arms. He's a good one though. I still like him. And then Pete Alonso with the Unleashed uh, going into the hits. As you've seen, we did not pull a lot of hits in this. We pulled some good rookies, and honestly, I'm happy with that. All right, let's do this bonus pack here. We have eight, what are we looking for? Eight uh, Red Wave Parallels. And then we're gonna do our auto. Eight Red Wave Parallels. Are you ready to rip open this Red Wave Parallel pack? Good, because that's all I got left to open, and then we have our autograph. Ripping packs, three, two, one, let's go. Eight cards, Red Wave, Red Wave, Red Wave. Okay, we got Purple Wave, which is probably a Diamond King. Mike Yastrzemski, show it to you anyway. I'm um, going into the parallels, and I like I said, I already said my spiel on Yaz, but doesn't do much for me um, when it comes to it as a collector. Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. Same deal there, great pitcher, but come on. We all know, pitcher, Marlins, doesn't mean much. Kevin Gossman, <laughs> we're striking, we're striking out right now. He had a good season until the very end. Um, Orioles guy who finally got a chance to put it together, but he was on my fantasy team. Leody Tavares, there's a Ranger who I keep pulling his autograph and other stuff, but Leody, good young pitcher. I mean, a pitcher, good young player. Um, the batting average is kind of meh, but come on. That's what I'm begging right now for, begging for anything good. Joey Bart, okay, I can live with this right now. The reason why is Joey Bart's due is finally coming with Buster retiring. Joey Bart's pretty much Unless something weird happens, it's gonna be handed the job. So, uh, I wouldn't go out there and buy a lot of his cards, but Joey Bart's definitely gonna be taking that job. And he's like 24, he'll be 25, I think, in December. So, just a heads up, but yeah, he should be good. We did get a, uh, it was Diamond Kings, Bryce Harper going into the PC pile with the Red Wave. Nice little, the only time, I mean, I honestly haven't pulled very many hits though. Jesus Sanchez, he's gonna be a masher. He's a young one too for the Marlins. The thing is, all these Marlins guys, they're good and they just don't play very well. I mean, they don't, they don't play in the hobby very well because they're in Miami. He's a good example of it, but yeah, he's a good one, I like him. Then Jose Altuve, which, well, come on, yeah. Like I said, I like Alex Bregman, Altuve. I feel cheated on. I feel like a, a girlfriend who just, you know, gave me the middle finger and as she, you know, kicked my ass out of bed. That's what hell two bit is. Because I don't, I didn't like the Astros, but I really liked him. All right, you ready to see this autograph? I am. All right, let's go. We already saw Corbin Burns here. We already saw Corbin Burns. That was our front card. I'll show it to you anyway. So our next card is going to be, uh, the back card is going to be Christian Pache with the rookies. Okay, I like Christian. He falls into that Joe Adele category where he's young and he has a lot of future ahead of him. I still think he, he could be a solid player. He's gonna go into the rookie pile. And our autograph is going to be, assuming it's an autograph, rated rookie. Rated rookie S L D L D L D L uh, Lewin Diaz from the Marlins. Lewin Diaz. <sighs> and hey, at least it's not a sticker autograph. There's a plus. <laughs> Lewin Diaz. Uh, I was talking about the Marlins and telling you how the hobby doesn't respond to them, but Lewin Diaz, um, autograph. Not awful, because the guy still is uh, potentially can do something good there. But Lewin Diaz, on card auto. Uh, I can at least appreciate that, so. There you go. Um, okay, I'm gonna be, okay, yes, I know I got the auto. Um, the blaster box, to me, yes, you're paying $30 for it, but I did get a couple solid hits. Now, this is me, granted. Um, the mega box, I did pick up three of them. This is the first box I've ripped. Um, you do have the guaranteed auto, usually. That's a tough one. I personally, I think the fat pack, for the price, yeah, you have a, you know, have a decent amount of cards, but, I would stay away from the fat pack. That's just my opinion. Um, 
Blaster Box, I would have no qualms buying a Blaster Box. Mega Box, I think is the way to go just with the guaranteed auto, but is the autograph worth $20? Are the Red Wave cards I pulled worth $20? I don't know. So let's just go over the hits real quick. Um, the hits over in the Fat Pack. I like Hunter Green, but come on, he's not a hit realistically yet. Cabrian Hayes, that was our hit, our real big hit in that pack. Cabrian Hayes with the green. Um, a couple PC uh, of prospecting guys for me, but that was our big hit. So we have one. Our, um, our blaster box, however, we got some of the rated prospects. We got did get the pink. Now, I, I do think Tristan McKenzie has the potential to be a good one. Um, but Tristan McKenzie with the pink. Uh, Bryce Terang with the rated prospect. He's, he'll, he'll be, here's a good chance, uh, late 2022 for him. Uh, the Debbie Garcia Hollow, which again, pitcher, but he's a young Yankee. So Brady Singer, um, the Luis Rodriguez, to me, that's the banger of this thing. Luis Rodriguez Hollow. And Yiddy Cappy. I can't go wrong with Yiddy Cappy at all. I like Yiddy Cappy. I think he's a good one. I think Giddy Cappy is a solid shortstop. Again, it's the whole Marlins effect. So yeah, there's that. Um, for the actual hits, I mean, Shohei Base is not really a hit. I like Shohei, but that's not a hit. Um, PC-wise, we did okay there. I mean, inserts-wise, there's a lot of cool inserts, but nothing where it really kind of gets me going there. Let's go to the Mega Box here. The Mega Box, we did get, um, we got a couple, we got the Christian Pache. You just saw me pull that out of out of the rookies. We did get the Jesus Sanchez again, who I think Jesus is gonna. He's 23 years old and he's in the bigs now. There's a he's gonna he should have a good long career. Former Ray, I didn't know that. Uh, Joey Bart, who I was kind of holding off on Bart for a while, but now the Buster has retired. I think Bart's definitely a guy to pay attention to. Uh, I wouldn't say go out there and buy a ton of his cards, but there's a good chance. The only thing is reason why I say pay attention to, but not go out crazy. He is a catcher, like a legitimate catcher. He's not like a catcher who plays a position who could move. He's a legitimate catcher, and that's what his game is. And they have some young guys like Patrick Bailey on the horizon. Um, the Joe Adele uh, rated rookie right there. The Austin Martin rated prospect, legit. I mean, yes, it's base, but still, it's a rated prospect there. Sheridan Apostle again for me, hollow from a guy that I prospect. That's pretty awesome. We got another one there. Andrew Vaughn, uh, Luis Rodriguez again, Alex Kirloff. And then to cap it all off, we got the Yiddy Cappy. Uh, not Yiddy Cappy, but the Luan Diaz auto for the rookies. So I'd say, again, like I said, the blaster box did me good, but will it do you good? I don't know. The mega box, getting the autograph might be worth it. The checklist for the autograph seems all right. It's not a lot. I mean, there is filler, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look like it's as awful as Topps Chrome. Um, yeah, I mean, some of these would look good signed. I will say that. Some of these would look good signed. So anyways, there you go. Optic Baseball, comparison edition. What would you buy? Let me know below. Give me a comment. Let, let me know below what you would think, what, what you would buy. Or have, like I said before at the start of the show, have you bought it? I do, and it's hard. I really like what Panini does. Not their, not their scratches and lines and crap on the cards. I like the way they do some of these things. To me, this this looks a lot better than Topps Chrome, in my opinion. But, you know, Topps gotten lazy on some of that stuff. But I do like the white chromium finish. That's nice. So. Yeah, there you go. Go with, I, you just, the cello pack is if you're desperate. If you're desperate, get the cello. Otherwise, I'd say Me Mega and Blaster, you're good either way. If you want to spend the extra 20 bucks to get the autograph, then you can go with the Mega box. Anyway, yeah, subscribe to this. Do it. Like it. Did you? Did you like it? Did you, did you not like it? Well, if you, I don't care if you didn't like it, then just still click the like button because it tells me, make some more of these damn shows, butthole. Well, I will. Uh, and notification bell, comment, like I said earlier. Follow me over here. And uh, on this week, I am going, I didn't say at the start of the show, I'm gonna actually do a full week of rips because I got a lot of projects I need to go through. So tomorrow, I'm probably gonna be opening a uh, Topps uh, Heritage Minor League Baseball hobby box. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a full week. Anyway. Thank you for watching Whipping Packs. Come back tomorrow. We're going to rip open some more baseball and then some football and maybe even basketball. All right. Take care. I will see you then. Bye.